Hi there, welcome to Imran Kitchen. Today I am going to show you how to make the zikoni pikora. It's very simple and easy. It's not a big deal. So first we need to cut it. This zikoni is like a big size. We need to cut it in the middle. Then we'll make the long slice. Has to be like this size, not too big, not too tiny. So now we'll start the make the batter for the pikora, and this is two cup of the gram flour. So now we'll add the spices. Uh, this is one teaspoon salt as test, whatever you like, and also a half teaspoon turmeric powder and also one teaspoon red chili powder and quarter teaspoon gram uh, sorry gram flour i'm sorry caram seeds and also quarter teaspoon kasturi methi powder so i'll put together all so before i put the water i have to mix it now i'll put the water slowly slowly So need more water. First you need to make the paste. Then after that we will add the. That way there will be no like a lumps. So it will be easy for everybody. First like a make the paste like this. Then after that mix it up very gently. Then after that you can add whatever you need a texture so i already preheated the oil for the like a medium heat now so i will make two way the pikora one i will put the dip in the basin and after that i will dip in the bread crumbs and one will be only basin first we will make the basin one it's up to you if you want with the breadcrumbs you can make both way So after 5 minutes now I have to flip it, you need a two, two ladders because sometimes you know it's dangerous, the oil can split to you. So we need to take it out, now it's almost 60% done, we have to cook again on the high flame. In meantime I will do the another uh, the zucchini picora with the breadcrumbs. So first we will we'll put the zucchini in the basin batter, then after that we will put in the breadcrumbs. The bread crumbs with the bread crumb one is ready. You can see difference. That is different look, and this is also different look, and also taste will be different. So we need to fry again on high flame. 